mountain climbers. Mountain climbers with the rotation are also known as the world's greatest stretch. And in this video, we're gonna show you why. They are one of the best warm-up exercises you can do. If you're gonna work all the muscles in the body, we're gonna loosen up our hips, we're gonna get a little bit upper back mobility as well. So before any type of exercise, this is your number one go-to. But they are quite tough, especially if you're new to training. You wanna start in an extended plank position with your hands a little bit closer together. From there, you're gonna bring one foot up towards your hand, as you can see now in the video. It's important when you bring that foot up towards your hand that your foot is flat. As you can see now, where John brings his foot up. Once you've done a few normal reps and you're feeling good, the more reps you do, the looser you're gonna feel. We can then start to get a bit of rotation for the thoracic spine. So from here, we're gonna bring the foot up towards the hand. We're gonna keep the knee off the floor and then we're just gonna rotate that arm, keeping our eyes on the hand at the same time. A few errors we see when doing this exercise, people not having the mobility in their hips and they really struggle getting that foot towards the hand. So they end up looking like this, where their toe goes into the floor, their heels off. And this is often we see with a lot of newbies or new beginners. People collapsing at the knee or letting their knee, back knee hit the floor. Like I say, because this is gonna work all the muscles in the body, it is a tough exercise, especially for new clients. And in a minute, I'm gonna show you how to make it easier if your reps do look like this. I mean, I might be over exaggerating some of these, but I have seen these in the gym. Because it's a mobility exercise, some people do suffer with tight hips. One thing we don't wanna see is the knees coming inside the hands. We want them always outside. So sometimes, it, you want to just make sure that you learn the exercise properly. If your gym has a box like this, you can use anything that elevates your upper body. You're going to find it a million times easier and overall a lot better. So you can get the sensation of the mobility exercise and get that stretch which is what we want. So you can see now using the robot step, I can bring my foot a little bit higher and I can get that good stretch. And as you can see from the side now, the body position almost resembles exactly of a squat. So the more you do with these, the better your squat's gonna be. And now I can also add in that rotation. So I'm using the box, even if this is somebody who's a beginner or someone who lacks the mobility, to still make sure that they can do this exercise properly. It's one that shouldn't be rushed. It should be done with a little bit of time, some consideration, some concentration as well, just to make sure that you can nail that technique. Here are a few reps again of what you want to look to work towards because the better your mobility you can then slowly moving away from the box so then you can nail these exercises and nail these mountain climbers exactly like john's doing now in the video and that's how you do mountain climbers properly